Hi everyone, welcome back to Liberty Park Music. Today we'll be checking out a classic tune called Valerie, originally by the Zootons, but made very, very popular by the late singer Amy Winehouse. Alright, so for this lesson we'll just be checking out the strumming pattern in the chords, but do check out the next lesson where we'll be checking out some advanced concepts to add licks and fills between your chord progressions so that it sounds a lot closer to the BBC version that Amy Winehouse did. As usual, if you have any questions, just let us know in the comments section and we will get back to you as soon as we can. And if you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, please do subscribe as we really appreciate that. Alright, let's jump into the lesson. So the first thing we'll need to know is the song structure and the different parts of the song. So this song only has three distinct sections. The verse, the pre-chorus, and the chorus sections. So the verse and the chorus sections are exactly the same in terms of chord progression. So really there are only two different sections to this song. So let's check out the chords that we'll need first. So the first chord we'll need is an E flat major 7. Next, we have an F minor 7. And then an A flat major chord. And then a G minor chord. And then a B flat major. And a B flat 7. So those are the only chords that you'll need to play this song. Now the tricky part of this song is not in the chords, but it's actually in the strumming pattern that you'll need to play to get that very, very funky rhythm. So the way you get that funky rhythm is you'll need to use a lot of chokes and muted strums. So muted strums are very simple. You just simply touch the strings, but don't press down. So it sounds something like this. For chokes, chokes are a bit trickier because you have to play the chord and then quickly release the pressure of the strings to choke the chord. Yeah. So this this uh, strumming pattern, sorry, this strumming pattern is a mixture of strummed notes, choked notes, and muted notes. So let's deal with the muted strums and the groove first. So the first thing you want to do when you imagine a strumming pattern that's as complex as this is you want to imagine this strumming pattern as a drum groove. So I'm just going to play the strumming pattern first and the strumming pattern lasts for two bars. So that's why the first bar and the second bar, it's a little bit different, but just a bit. So all together, it sounds something like this. So down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down. Down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. Once more. Three, four. Down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down. Down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. Yeah? So you want to spend a lot of time getting that strumming pattern down. What I suggest is working through the first bar first and then the second bar. So the first bar sounds something like this. Down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down. And that's it. Once more. Down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down. So that's the first bar. The second bar starts on the two count. So it's three, four, one, two, and a three, and four, e, and a. Second bar again. Three, four, one, two, and a three, and four, e, and a. So that's the second bar. Then try to combine the two together, and hopefully you should get a strumming pattern that sounds something like this. Down. Down, down, up, down, 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 up, down. Down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up.
So why I mentioned that you should think of this as a drum groove because it's because it's very easy to switch up the strumming pattern if you just think of it as a drum groove. So in my head, I'm just hearing So if I want to change the strumming pattern, all I just need to hear in my head is just a different drum groove and my hands will, if I do this often enough of course, but right now it's at that point where if I just hear a different drum groove, my hands will just kind of follow along and just play a different drum groove. So instead of maybe I might be thinking of like you know, it's just a slightly different strumming pattern and I hear the strumming pattern slightly differently in my head as well because I'm just basing everything off of drum grooves in my head. Now, the tricky part. Let's throw in the chords. Now, if we just throw in the chords without any chokes, this is what it will sound like. So I'm just going to stay on the E flat major 7 chord first. So... So once more. So it kind of sounds like the song, but not quite because it's not as groovy. So the trick to making it sound groovy is to choke on certain beats or to completely mute the string, the strings on certain strums. So this is what it will sound like if you add some chokes and some muted strums. Yeah. So this is going to take quite a bit of time to get down. So if you are having trouble, just stick with doing it without the chokes first. Uh, it's going to be tricky because you'll find that you'll need to mute your unplayed strings and that can be quite difficult. So for example, on the E flat major 7, I need to mute my 6th string as well instead of just strings 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now, if you are, if you are trying to find out a starting point, let me just break down the exact strumming pattern that I use and you can just follow along with this strumming pattern first before you get comfortable enough to just, you know, improvise and change up the strumming pattern as you see fit. Yeah, so the way I'm playing this is on the one count of the first bar, I'm playing it and I'm strumming it. On the two, I choke. So one, two, and a three. So on the Anna, I do completely muted strums. Anna 3, I strum. On the and I strum again. And then on the 4E, I do muted strums. 4E and. On the and, I strum again. So 1, 2, and a 3, and 4E and. Yeah. And notice how on the 3 and, I also do slightly uh, longer chokes. So instead of for the 3 and, I'm doing. So it's, it's still a choke, it's just that I let this, the note ring a bit longer. So in the first bar, it sounds something like this. One, two, and a three, and four, e, and. So that's what I'm doing on the first bar. The second bar is very, very similar. So I'm on the two, I'm doing a choke. So it's three, four, one, two, and a three, and. So on the and, I choke, I, I completely mute the strings again. And a three, and I strum again with slightly longer chokes. Three, and four, E, and a. Four, E, and a. On that second bar of the four, E, and a, I only strum on the E. So on the second bar again, so it's one, so it's, sorry, let me just count again. So three, four, one, two, and a, three, and four, E, and a. Yeah, notice it's on the four, E, and a, it's only the E that's being strummed. So you can play around with that first, but feel free to just switch it up as you see fit. So I might not just, I might not play this the same way all the time. So maybe the first time I'll be playing like this. And maybe
maybe the second time I'll play it like this. See on the 4 E Anna, I do complete strums on 4 E Anna. So I do vary my strumming patterns quite a bit, but you should stick to that set strumming pattern that I showed you first, practice that a lot, and then move on to improvising around with different strumming patterns. Now, that's for the verse sections and the chorus sections between these two chords. For the pre-chorus section, it sounds something like this from the A flat, and it's just one bar each. One, two. See, on the four and, I'm gonna switch to the G minor. So it's A flat, two, three, and four, E, and. In the, on the 4 E and I'm on the G minor. 1, 2, and a 3 and 4 E and. Ta. Back to the A flat. And on the B flat, this is how I play it. So it's down, 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 down. Four and I switch over to the B flat seven. So one, two, and a three and four E and one, two, and a three and four E and a one. Back to the chorus section with the E flat major seven. Yeah? So let's do a quick play along section so that you guys can play along with me as I run through each section. I'm just gonna play the verse slash chorus sections first, then we'll check out the pre-chorus section. So verse slash chorus. So one, two. Now let's move on to the pre-chorus section. So pre-chorus section, one, two, three, four. Once more on the pre-chorus section. One, two, three, four. That was a play long section. Feel free to just go back into the video and just replay those sections over and over again so that you can get the strumming pattern down nice and tight with me. All right, so that's all for this lesson. Do stay tuned for the next lesson where we'll check out some advanced concepts to add in fills like this. You know, it's just really, really, really cool things that you can add in to this song since the verse and the chorus sections are just two chords. You can add in little fills and little licks here and there that will make things sound a lot more interesting. So do stay tuned for that following lesson. All right, so we've come to the end of the lesson. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, just remember to reach out to us and we will get back to you as soon as we can. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care, everyone. I will see you in the next one.